Hi David, thank you for coming by here at the Hilton Suite at NAMM 2015. So will you please introduce yourself to the audience out there? Okay, your TC audience. Uh, hi, I'm David Hewitt. Uh, my company is Hewitt Remote Services and I've been at the live end of recording for 40 some odd years and of course we've seen a lot of TC miles uh, in those recordings. David, you use the System 6000, right? We do. And uh, going back, how did you start using System 6000? Uh, well, you can blame uh, Casey and Tommy Vicari for some of that. I mean, it, you know, it's a very well-known system, but uh, in the remote uh, side of things where we were doing, uh, especially orchestration stuff, like, you know, all the years that we did the, uh, uh, the Academy Awards Orchestra with Tommy, um, I did about 30 years worth of the Metropolitan Opera in New York. Uh, we'd record for their anything they were taping on video. Uh, when you get into trying to apply uh, effects, you know, reverb effects and that sort of thing on, on the live acoustic instruments, uh, then you really start to hear the difference uh, between these various devices. And the TC uh, devices were always uh, just so clean, you know, the reverb tails, everything was, you know, you could, you could hear the definition of, of all the orchestral uh, pieces. So it didn't sound like it was something that you were adding on, you know, it sounded very natural. Um, of course, a lot of that's down to uh, who programs the things. And um, again, Casey Young and uh, uh, Tommy Vicari are just uh, experts at, uh, at that sort of thing. So uh, my forte was bringing in the remote trucks. Um, I've owned several companies that, that built those. And uh, when you've got clients like these, you better be bringing the goods. So, uh, you know, of course that was, uh, you know, TC was at the top of that list. And uh, that's how you keep your clients happy. Speaking of clients, uh, would you uh, please tell us about who you have been working with? Well, in the remote business, uh, in when I started out a long time ago, it was, it was in the, uh, the record business, which was mostly all rock and roll. But there was, you know, there's not enough of any one genre of music to keep a truck in business. You know, you, you had to not only do the, you know, the rock and roll and the popular stuff, but over the, uh, over the years, you know, television grew, became MTV, you know, the award shows. Uh, as I mentioned, we've done a lot of classical uh, recording in the Metropolitan Opera, but we've also done film scores. Uh, you know, the truck would go to the locations uh, for the orchestras and uh, virtually everything in between. We used to say from Aretha to Zappa, and then you add the class <laughs> classical stuff. So uh, a little bit of everything. And uh, I know that you've been working on uh, the Academy Awards as well. We, uh, we worked on that for about 13 years and um, it was always, we were just doing the orchestra. And, uh, you know, again, Tommy Vicari has been the, uh, uh, the go-to mixer on that for many years. They've, they've tried a few different people on this, and, uh, you know, Tommy's always come up as the, the go-to guy. And uh, that was part, I've, I've done, over the years, I've done probably all of the major award shows. So yeah. And uh, that was, the Oscars were the pinnacle of that genre, you know, you had a, a, a real orchestra, you had some of the best talent, uh, you know, from the movies and so on, and it, it was the, uh, that was my favorite out of all of them. Going back to the System 6000, uh, do you have any uh, favorite algorithms uh, in System 6000 that you particularly like? Uh, my memory being <laughs> what it is, I would probably mispronounce uh, half of the programs, uh, but again, it it's it depends on the client, uh, depends on the talent. You know, there's there's so many different ways to program those machines. Um, I honestly cannot recall a, a, a favorite of it. Uh, we've done various things for. Uh, there's been some of the surround uh, algorithms that have been used, although in the in the live stuff. You tend not to do very much of that on the live live. That's that's usually something that's done in post production, uh, or over in the production mixer. You know, oftentimes when you've got a big show like the uh, 
the Oscars, uh, you know, Tommy would be delivering a, a, an orchestral mix to the production mix. And if they were going to add uh, some of the surround for the final broadcast, it would be done over there, which uh, I think also had, had some TC units. So what have you lined up for 2015? Well, frankly, I'm uh, mostly retired these days out in the uh, wilds of Pennsylvania, uh, pursuing our classic car restoration projects and so on. But I, I still come out occasionally uh, to do uh, the odd remotes and to do some educational work. Uh, we're talking about uh, uh, possibly putting together another panel of some of the all-star mixers uh, doing educational stuff. Uh, there's a uh, book project that's in the works, and uh, like I say, I still go out occasionally. Um, what was the la last thing we did was uh, George Strait's last tour. He uh, retired from touring, speaking of retiring, and uh, we took the old silver analog truck out, which is, is still a fully functional. It's, it's the last of the state-of-the-art analog trucks, in addition to the digital truck we have. And we rolled that out to Dallas, uh, to that huge new Cowboys arena. I think they set an attendance record of around 115,000 screaming Texans as uh, George Strait retired. Uh, and that kind of thing is a lot of fun as well, because they, they, uh, they put on about a three and a half hour show with every possible country star you could name <laughs> coming in to do a, you know, a guest vocal or two. So that kind of thing I'll, I'll still go out for. But uh, frankly, after 40 some odd years on the road, I've had enough. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by. You're welcome.